Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor, Ethico. In the intricate world of ethics and compliance, each second is precious, and slow case closures are more than just delays, they're missed opportunities. Enter Ethico. Our solution revolutionizes case management, cutting case closure times in half, and turning every challenge into a chance for improvement. Imagine a workspace where efficiency and compliance coexist harmoniously. Don't just dream of faster resolutions, make it your reality. Visit ethico.com slash cpn today to book a demo and dive into our exclusive white paper by Tom Fox, 2023, the year in compliance. Empower your team with the tools they deserve. The Daily Compliance News for January 23, 2022, the Gen Z edition. We begin with that story from the Washington Post, which reports that Gen Z, i.e. teenagers, are bringing back part-time employment. Um, I raise this for a couple of different reasons. One, for those who think that and espouse that this this generation doesn't want to work, uh, all I can say is horse hockey, to quote the great Chairman Potter. But second, part-time work means new part-time compliance risks. And I would challenge every compliance professional to think about um, what are the risks? So Gen Z is uh, different than the previous generation of millennials, and the risks are going to be different. Next up from Reuters, Binance says that the SEC uh, should not have any ability to oversee cryptocurrency assets at, and moved in court to uh, uh, keep the SEC from having oversight over it. Binance agreed to a $4.3 billion settlement with the DOJ and claims that that's enough, that uh, we don't need no stinking SEC. Well, guess what, guys? Um, The SEC's here, and I suspect they're going to be able to uh, enforce the law. Next up from the Wall Street Journal, uh, China forced labor continues to be a concern of U.S. legislators, and a bipartisan committee said the Biden administration should consider using criminal prosecutions and closing uh, closing a trade loophole. Obviously, Chinese forced labor is notorious, and uh, the Uyghurs are one group who are forced to work, but there's a large number of groups in China that unfortunately are forced labor. So uh, uh, a group of senators want ramped up criminal penalties for companies using uh, Uyghur forced labor or goods from Xinjiang in general. And our final story comes to us from the BBC, which reports that ExxonMobil has filed a suit to block investors in to prevent their climate proposals from going forward at its annual investor meeting. The complaint uh, it's rare for a company to do so, but the uh, Exxon says that it's part of an extreme agenda and not in the best interest of the company. Well, guess what, Exxon? You don't get to make that determination. The opening, the Compliance Podcast Network has a new sponsor, and that sponsor is Ethico. Ethico provides compliance champions like yourself with a ethics and compliance optimization system to turn goals and guidelines into real ROI for your compliance program. To learn more, go to ethico.com slash CPM. We're going to link to that in the show notes as well. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.